We're raising awareness um, about, about drag, about gendered identity, about being glamorous, simply because we, if we don't build a future, there's going to be no future. So we want these kids that come to the show to see that, hey, it's cool, it's okay. If I want to be a drag queen, if I want to be a trucker, if I want to be a doctor, lawyer, teacher, preacher, hey, we're good with it. We're all well, good with it. Is, is it. Drag entertainers were the first activists in our community, mm -hmm. and specifically trans dr uh, act, you know, drag entertainers um, were the first activists in our community. So if we're not doing it, who else Well, 50 years ago, it? Stonewall. Yeah, 50 years ago. This is the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. So here we are. 50 years from that event and we're having tragic events like this happen so that's why we're here standing up showing you know like i said on easter sunday that we're no different from anybody else you know i might be a man in a dress but that doesn't make me any worse or any better than anyone else we really need to showcase all of the uh, organizations in town that can help the youth um, in case they are feeling like um, that they are alone or that they are loved um, that there's a whole community here that does love them no matter what. And I really feel like that it means that we need to share acceptance. You know, like I said earlier, gay, straight, blue, green, it doesn't matter who or what we are. We all just need to accept each other. And I really feel blessed to live in Huntsville where I feel like we have, have a lot of that going on. But even though we have a lot going on, we still need to share that message of acceptance. That we've got to talk about it. Um, we might not have to say what it is, but we have to talk about bullying and we have to let, let let them know that there are youth groups out there. There are people that, that they can talk to if they're upset. Um, you know, and it all goes back to even teachers too. They have to have those you know, open classrooms and let them know that they can speak to them um, and that they're there to help if they need help. So we just have to bring our LGBTQ community in Huntsville together and you know, let all of these kids know that they're not alone. Find someone you trust, yes. find a teacher, find a drag queen. I mean, find a news person, find a doctor, whoever it is you trust, but talk to someone. And I know it sounds super cliche, don't you think? But it really does get better. I mean, we stand here as full grown adults, proud of what we do, trying to help and something trying to do we've something. Done for years, probably 30 years between the two of us as entertainers, and we never ever thought that we would be able to stand in public on Easter Sunday and have a voice. In drag and have a voice to the community. Well, I don't think it's that we're fighting to have the check one box or the other marked off of of any paperwork, but your gender and your sexual identity, that doesn't define who you are inside. But it's also something that has to be added to the, this legislation to make sure that these children are protected. So for instance, I don't know a lot of details um, about this particular instance, but you know, if it is shown that it was bullying because of you know, his sexual orientation, then they're not gonna do anything because there's no law that says that they have to. You know, these people, these bullies have to be held accountable, and until our state legislation shows that they have to do that, they're able to run them up and do whatever they want. So, um, you know, with, like I said earlier, um, care services, um, they offer youth groups, um, Rocket City Pride, um, we are trying to do as many family-friendly events as possible. Um, coming up in June, we have a lot of events going on, and then we also have events in October. Um, and we, I mean, we even do a youth, a youth drag show where the youth gets to come and actually perform for us. And they, they love it. They love it. They get to be involved in something they get to see us do. I was going to say, both of us growing up gay, which we both, have we both had two, two, dads. two dads. And, you know, I also have, you know, my mom as well, but I had 
you know, I had two dads. And so you would think that that's the most accepting possible situation that you can be in. But when you're out in public, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, you know, people can be awful.